Hey folks, Poster, welcome back to another Poem Master video. And today, let's talk about our um, human-eating <laughs> hamster <laughs> over here. Um, in terms of, you know, sacred builds and all that stuff. And uh, just to start out, right, a quick overview of, of, of how it works. Because again, some people st are still confused about how um, our pack over works, right? So basically, you have this move called Aura Wheel, right? And then um, when it's in full belly mode, it's electric type. And when it's, in, uh, when it's in hangry mode, it's dark type, right? And then you change your um, mode every time you attack, um, which is over here, hunger switch. After you use a move, it switches between full belly and hangry mode. So change, again, your aura wheel into either dark type or electric type, right? And they also have another passive called mood swing. When you're in full belly mode, it, uh, mode, it pa uh, powers up your electric type moves by 50%. And when you're in hangry mode, it powers up your dark type moves by 50%, right? So it's really not that difficult. <laughs> on top of that, you have power trip, which is basically dark type stored power, which is incredibly OP in this game. And then you got uh, Thunder Shock, which is one gauge. And then snack time, uh, it raises your attack by one. And then if your speed has been raised, it also raises your attack by the same amount, right? So you could buff your speed with Aura Wheel because this gives you a plus one speed, right? And then you could transfer all those into attack. And then when you're in full belly mode, it also gives you gradual heal. And when you're in hangry mode, it also gives you a uh, plus one crit, which is fantastic, right? So um, anyways, some upsides about the, um, you know, the unit, good HP, solid attacks, you know, solid special attack, good defenses and fantastic speed, right? So just all good stats all around. So. Um, let's, uh, let's get into the, the grid and stuff. So, uh, first of all, in terms of lucky skills, right? Um, crit strike one, you, you want <laughs> crit strike one, trust me, right? This thing is an absolute monster. It has the highest sync move damage in the game, <laughs> potentially, right? And then, um, it, it, you know, it's not sync move, it's also hit like an absolute truck, right? There's this thing, it's called attack, it's a damage dealer, right? Like, all the top damage dealers in the game right now are all tech, right? And this one's just another one of them. Right, so uh, you want to roll Crit Strike 2 on your Marpeko. If you can't get Crit Strike 2, you could settle for Power Flux 3 or whatever, or Crit Strike 1 or whatever, right? So uh, let's get into the grid. So as you're starting from 1 out of 5, there you could I think you could pick up everything at 1 out of 5. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure if not everything, you're like 95% of the stuff here. Yeah, yeah, just pick up like literally everything except for like... I don't know, something that's like, I don't know, Thundershock power-up, like, who cares? Uh, <laughs> right, you drop one of these Thundershock power-ups. Uh, but yeah, moving on, 2 out of 5, 2 out of 5. So 2 out of 5, you actually don't have much either, right? Um, you have, I guess, power trip move, gauge refresh, and a lot of, you know, power trip power-ups. So these are always really, really good to have, right? Um, and that's basically, you could come over here and pick up uh, Speedy Entry. <clears throat> so that gives you, you know, easier... Uh, just makes your life a bit easier in, in terms of trying to like max out your um, uh, your your attack and also again gives you speed, which is nice, right? Um, as for some other stuff, if you need aura wheel, obviously you pick up some aura wheel power ups, right? If you don't need aura wheel, then you don't need to pick it up, <laughs> right? Um, if you're running like if you really just want to like run Marnie as like some like tech, I guess you come down here and pick up like staggering two on thunder shock, but I, I, it's it's just like if you really just don't have like Vulcan or Luxury, I guess, because Vulcan or Luxury is just like a better version, um, in terms of you know, uh, flinching and and um, paralyzing, because you do have hostile environment five, which is really really nice, right? And then you have staggering uh, three over here, but I, I like Marn like Marn just does so much damage. It's just a waste if you're not like just nonstop outputting damage with with Marnie, right? So, moving on. Uh, 3 out of 5, so 3 out of 5 is where you get most of, like, the sync nuke stuff, right? In terms of, like, power trip, if you're using Marnie as a dark type striker, you don't need, like, any sync grid stuff. Like, 1 out of 5, you get, like, 90% of the, um, power trip stuff, right? Damage stuff. Um, 3 out of 5 is for sync nuke. And, again, she does have the strongest sync nuke of the game, uh, which is pretty crazy. So, you want to come down here, um, pick up a nurse over here. If you want, like, max sync damage, obviously you want to pick up these as well, right? The, um... The sync note power ups with the rest, you can maybe pick up like a move gauge refresh and power trip, or if you really don't need speed, maybe just some more power trip power ups, I guess, if you want. Um, or like speedy entry if you need that, right? If you want to get that, um, you know, the attack up a bit quicker, or if you're not building your team, um, with 
as many like speed supports, right? You can maybe do that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is how you get just like absolute bonkers <laughs> sync move damage, right? Um, and you, you don't have to do that, right? <clears throat> you could also run something just like um, completely like dark type focus if you're running, say, like I don't know. Um, if you want to like sync nuke with someone else, if you have like an EX Hilbert or something, and you want to like haymaker sync with Hilbert, you're d running double dark striker. You could go just pick up like power trip stuff here instead, right? Go pick up power trip stuff there, then you could. Uh, I think you have enough to come down and pick up MP, yeah, MP Rekindle there as well, just get more, uh, MP Refreshes on Snack Time, which again is a very, very, very powerful, um, you know, move, right? And, and then, yeah, if you run out of Gradual Heals, you could hope for MP Rekindle to bring your MP back and then get more Gradual Heals, um, or, you know, uh, if you're running it, if, say if you're running it with, like, Hilbert, right? None of you guys... Uh, need any buffs if you get one MP, MP back on snack time so you can max out your crit so you don't need since The whole team doesn't need any offense buffs. You could just run like a huge tank as you like your third option or Some like, you know defensive support as, as your third option, right? That could be something that you could do, right? Um, so that is uh, again uh, something you go for um, if you're going for like a pseudo I guess like uh, aura wheel damage dealer kind of thing, but you could also want to do some sync nuke damage. You could do something like this, right? Because I don't think you could go up and pick up thunder shock uh, or, or not thunder shock, uh, static shock three, right? So it's just better if you just use that um energy and like pick up like some other sync nodes over here, super preparation four, right, and and and, and all that stuff, some more aura wheel power ups if you want. But like most of the time, you just want to like. Either user just to like sync nuke or or um, or just power trip the opponent, right? I'm not a huge fan of like running or even though like aura wheel still hits like really really hard for Marnie, but like I I, I mean just I it's it's a lesser option just because the other two options are so insane, which like you know this is still like incredibly good, right? Um, anyway, so yeah, those those are definitely um some options you can go for again if you just want to run that like para flinch thing you go thundershock staggering <laughs> if you want if you just want to like give up on marnie's damage right whatever so anyways moving on let's talk about some team comps right so starting with like the really basic one if you're just running marnie by herself uh although again i would like to mention marnie works so well in dual striker like um scenarios because you know move gate refresh on a two gauge move right with very 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 good speed and self-speed buffs, right? So, like, she, she works incredibly well in dual striker comps. And usually the biggest issue with, like, a lot of dual striker comps is there really is, like, a huge, like, sync nuker um, in the team. So sometimes you don't know who you want to sync with, right? If you have Marnie on, on the team, you sync with Marnie. <laughs> Unless it's, like, not super effective. Like, but, like, in a lot of, like, non-super effective um, scenarios, Marnie sometimes still, like, does more than your super effective striker sync nuke or whatever, right? Uh, but, yeah, you do want to put her in, in, in a lot of those scenarios, right? But first of all, just talking about if we're not running double striker, you could do something like a Lux Ray to set up electric terrain for the extra damage on Marnie's either Aura Wheel or Sync Nuke or Thunder Shock, <laughs> right? And then you could have um, Blasters over here uh, to give Marnie some, um, some crit, some speed, right? So you could just do something, a turn one like Aura Wheel, um, Vulcan does his thing, either, either you know, Thunder Fang or whatever, right? Trying to move, uh, and like Aura Aura Wheel, trying to move, and then um, uh, to the top, right? And then uh, you to the top again with Blue, and then you use Marnie's training move, and then I think you're at what plus, let's see, plus four attack, right? If I'm correct, and then um, you could ease or let's see, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're at plus four attack, or you could, like, do another aura wheel and then do that again, then you're at plus five attack. Um, but, like, Sing Su Blue gives, like, the rest of the attack anyway, so I'd rather just give Marnie just, like, plus four attack for the moment being, and then just hope, you know, Sing Su Blue gives you the rest too, and then just start spamming, like, um, power trip on your opponent, or, or aura wheel, whatever. I, I, I guess if you're, like, <laughs> running this, you're probably facing, like, electric weak opponents, but you don't have, like, you could still run this comp and, and use, like, power trip, right? Um, against like non-electric weak opponents because again your like your sync nuke is so powerful even if the opponent is not weak to electric they will still get absolutely blasted right 
Um, so this is just for like a purely like Marnie focused team. Um, you could swap out, you know, some of these uh, units around, right? You could put, say, when Hilbert's Grid comes out, you could put Hilbert in here. That's really, really nice. Uh, <clears throat> you could throw in uh, Sabrina with Pep Rally. You also give, you know, Speed on Reflect, which, again, gives Marnie her attack, right? All that stuff, and obviously a crit. Um, you could throw in uh, Meganium even, right? Uh, if you want, right? Meganium works really, really well there. Obviously, Meganium might want to tank with, um, uh, Volkner though, right? But, the, you know, there's just a lot of, a lot of, um, um, you know, options over here. Skyla, right? Skyla, a lot of speed, convert that into attack. You do kind of want to pick up, uh, rekindle so you can max out your crit though, and in, in that scenario, but, uh, there's just a lot of options, right? So moving on to like some dual striker comps, right? Some dual striker comps, uh, could be pretty interesting. Like, you, you, like you could run something like, um, uh, let's see, you could run maybe, uh, Marnie with, um, with the Zacrom, right? Even though it's relatively slow, but again, since Marnie's so fast, Marnie gives you, you know, so much speed, all that stuff, two gauge move. This could potentially work, right? Um, obviously, again, tanking with uh, Volkner over here. Volkner has really, really good defensive stats, right? Especially, you know, if you have Electro Repulsion 3, it's a fantastic tank. Um, so, yeah, you could do something like that. Um, N is slightly suspect here just because um, N, unfortunately, you do have to... Well, well, not you do have... You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have crit, <laughs> right? Um... So that could be not that great, but you know it's still like good damage over overall, right? Because you do have like with a one point five times from Volkner, but I personally do prefer crit, right? So even if you don't run a lecture train with this thing, it should be really really good, right? So I do prefer like running to like some like crit support over here, right? Whether it be uh, again uh, Lyra, Six of Blue, uh, whatever else that max out your support or, or your your crit Phoebe, um uh gridded hilbert uh sabrina whatever right that should be really really nice um or over here you could throw in uh zip uh, zip as well if you want right uh, that could also work as well and the really really great thing about running both um zip and, and marnie right is that um zip because there's so many things you want to go for on zip grid right because she has like so many fantastic uh nodes right uh, but if you're running Marnie, since you're going to be syncing with Marnie, you don't have to worry about having to pick up, like, the sync nodes um, with uh, with the Striker. So you could focus on um, making sure your Wild Charge does, like, minimal damage back to yourself while still outputting, like, a lot of really, really good damage with Wild Charge, right? Um, and with this comp, you could also afford to, like, run um, something, a, a, a slower support like Phoebe or something because both of these are fast, right? Um, and then they both buff their, you know, their, their, their speed and all that. So you could, you could afford running something like a Phoebe or whatever, right? Um, with, uh, not, with not trainer, with fast track, right? So this is also really, really nice. Um, just like, you know, any, you know, solid electro, like a Hau, right? Um, although Hau's not the best option, uh, but you know, stuff like that. Um, moving on, like, like dual dark type strikers, you could, definitely do those as well right whether it be um hilbert or uh or, or houndoom right the great thing about this comp is you really don't need like any support if you pick up mp rekindle um with uh with marnie right uh so like this support just could could just just be like a full like defense support because hilbert does have like some slight defensive issues because uh hilbert's turn move does uh decrease um, his, his defenses, right? So something like a, you know, a defensive tank or like things of blue or whatever, right? Uh, that could definitely help out the team, uh, quite a bit, especially, you know, if you're Hilbert, you, you, uh, you also don't have to, again, you know, you got like carry on, right? So we don't have to worry about offensive buffs at all. Martin don't need to worry about offensive buffs. So here you can put in like a Skyla, a, um, a things of blue or whatever, right? Some defense, more defensive oriented sports, all those things of blue also buffs offenses, right? Um, and over here, uh, instead of Hilbert, you could also go with Houndoom, right? Uh, you, you could, you could definitely do Houndoom. Um, again, she's also, you know, don't have to worry uh, too much about supports. You could also just run like some defensive support over here as well, or some support that else that could also give you, uh, either, tra or actually, you know what? 
Marnie, oh, Marnie, oh, this is really, really good. Marnie could trigger both foul fighting and dir dirty fighting for Houndoom because you got staggering on Thundershock with uh, Hostile Environment 5 on Thundershock as well, right? So you could you could do that to help uh, Houndoom. Although I don't really know if you want to do that. Like, if you want to, like, waste turns using Thundershock and waste, like, nodes picking up, like, staggering, just so Houndoom does, like, a bit more damage when Marnie could just keep spamming Power Trip and outpower <laughs> Houndoom's Dark Pulses anyways, right? Uh, but yeah, something like that, a solid tank over here, defense supports, all that stuff, um, would be really, really great, right? And, um, you know, some other teams, uh, let's say not a Dark or Electra team, um, you could run it with, uh, with say, Leon, right? Uh, Leon with the uh, 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 Galar Flag Bearer, right? Gives you even more damage with a uh, damage reduction, right? Since you have like two of these, you could stack that up to um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, you could stack that up to uh, 20 uh, 20 percent damage buff and thir uh, 23 percent um, damage reduction, and you could even throw in like a peers over here, right? If you wanted to max out the uh, Galarian stat buff there, right? So you get 30 percent extra damage buff or Marnie like this, this is just this is just nuts right so um anyways a lot of lot of options for Marnie and, and that's one of like the really really great things about Marnie she's just so versatile you could throw her into like so many different um teams uh for different like opponents and she could succeed in like so many different scenarios right so anyways uh again that's me for this one hope you guys enjoyed let the guys think in the comments down below uh like and share this video so much have some more full messages content I'll see you guys in the next one